people and welcome to Simplified Healthy Cooking. I am Gina. Today I am going to be, be preparing a white fish taco. Um, these are absolutely amazing. Again, super healthy for you. So I'm going to get started. I have chosen to use a piece of cod today. Um, any white fish that you like um, will be super tasty in these tacos. Uh, you can also use shrimp as well. If you're not a white uh, fish person, use some shrimp. That'll work just as fine. So what we're going to start doing is I'm going to make a marinade for the fish. So I'm going to put it in this because I'm going to put the fish in a bag and then pour the marinade on top of it. So what I'm going to start off with is three tablespoons of olive oil. Gotta love our olive oil, right? Good for the heart. <laughs> and I'm going to do the juice of one lime. Pour that right in there. And then I just have um, an array of some spices. I used two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon paprika. I used a half a teaspoon of Cajun because we really like that flavor on our fish. If you don't, there's like a cayenne pepper you can use or just leave it out of there. Um, and then a half a teaspoon of cumin. So I'm gonna pour all these amazing ingredients in here as well and then we're just going to mix this up let all the flavors soak in there um, some of you may just like to use a dry seasoning as well um, it is nice to let this marinate although because like this it gets soaked in um, but I also like to use a couple different seasonings on my fish sometimes just to give you some ideas um, these are from Mad Dog and Merrill um, they are from our area I live in Wisconsin but they have some really good spices um, this one is a citrus twist awesome on fish and this other one is called Grandma Hazel's awesome on fish as well but um, you can use it on anything like chicken um, lots of stuff anyways they're good just to give you some more ideas of what you can use as seasonings for your fish. All right, so I'm gonna put the fish in this bag. I'm gonna pour the seasoning over the top of it, and then I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes or so while I'm preparing the rest of the items for our tacos. Okay, next we are going to prepare the sauce that we're going to use on top of our taco. And we're also gonna use a little bit of it in our slaw. So when I say slaw, um, I just bought a head of uh, purple lettuce um, and I just sliced it real thin. I don't know, do you call this purple? I think purple, not red, I don't know. <laughs> this color of cabbage I bought <laughs> and just sliced it real thin. Um, that's all you really need to do. I mean, if you're into buying the bag of slaw, you just do whatever is easiest for you. So I am going to use uh, Greek yogurt as my base. Um, a little healthier. I, I don't really like mayo-based things, so I find that this, with a little bit of the more protein in it, it's um, it tastes fabulous in the sauce. So I'm going to start with the juice of one lime. Pour that right in there. I have two teaspoons of honey. This honey is so good. My husband gets it from a friend of his at the gym and it's so amazing. All right, then next I just have, I think it's uh, three tablespoons of cilantro and two tablespoons of uh, jalapenos. <laughs> Put those in there. Now for those of you that don't like spicy things or you don't like cilantro or you know whatever, just adjust things to what you, you like. Um, cause definitely when we eat things, we want them to be tasty, right? Like we know we want to eat healthy, but I always feel like, yeah, that's great and all, but I want my food to taste really good. So that's why I'm doing these videos to help you all out with that. But I am also going to add just a little bit of, oops, <laughs> did that squirt out at you? A little bit of sriracha in here. Just probably just like a couple, I mean, I probably would put like, maybe a half a teaspoon in here. I don't want it to be too spicy, um, but it gives it some really good flavor. I just even love the smell of it. So, all right, so I got this all mixed up. I am going to refrigerate this once again um, for a little bit just to let those flavors soak in before we put some in our slaw. And while that's happening, I'm gonna get our fish out and we're going to start uh, preparing the fish. 
All right, so our fish is fully marinated and now I just put it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil. Um, I'm gonna fry this on the stove. It's probably gonna take about maybe five minutes aside. Um, with your fish, you're just gonna want it to get like flaky. You want it to be nice and flaky. Um, if you're doing shrimp, um, just a couple minutes per side so it's not translucent anymore. So, all right, I'm gonna get this started. All right, our tacos are ready to be put together. As you can see, the fish is all done. Doesn't it look fabulous? Look at that marinade on there, how it cooked on there. So lovely, it looks so pretty. Um, so what I'm gonna start off doing is, of course, I have my tortilla. Now, today I'm going to use a corn tortilla. Um, as I always mention, we're all on different health journeys, so it's up to you to choose um, what's going to work the best for you. Um, I do love the corn tortillas. Um, there's obviously the regular tortillas, and then there's also like these carb counter ones. Um, if you have, or if you're gluten, there's gluten free ones. Um, there's so many amazing different tortillas out there. Um, there's also like an Angelica brand, which is super great for you as well. But for today, I'm using the corn tortillas, so I guess let's get on with making our fish tacos. I'm just gonna take this and cut some of the fish off of here, I think, <laughs> and then put it right in the taco. Right there, yum. Put the other piece in here, there we go. It's a lot of meat. All right, so we have the fish and the tacos, and you can pretty much layer this the way it works for you, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with putting um, our sauce that we made on there first, okay? This is so good now that it's all chilled and all the flavors soaked in. I'm just gonna put a little bit on each one. Everybody can put as much as they want on them. There is, right? I just like it to be on top of the fish. It's the, soaked in that flavor as well. Now remember what I told you, um, I did use some of this sauce. I put about a tablespoon in with my slaw and just stirred it around and got that to marinate in there as well. So that's going to taste really good on top of our tacos. Um, I'm going to put a little avocado on there, a little sliver of that on each one. Um, the other thing I'm gonna put on here are some pickled red onions. This adds such a fun flavor to the tacos. So we're gonna throw some of those on there. Whatever your taste. I think it's just easier on your belly too than regular um, red onions. I get a bad belly from those. Okay, then we're gonna throw on our slaw. All right, now if you want to, you can always add a little bit more cilantro on top of there. I happen to be a cilantro freak, so I um, typically add more cilantro on mine. Love the colors as well, so <laughs> I like food with color. It's always fun. So here we go. All right. Okay, so here's your finished product. I hope you really love these tacos. Um, my whole family loves them. Um, so I love sharing these recipes with you that my family also enjoys and we know they're super delicious and absolutely good for you. So if you enjoyed watching my video, I would appreciate it if you would like the video and maybe share it with one of your friends. But most of all, subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to see all the new fabulous videos that are coming out. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.